How crazy is this? As you dig into the dirt, it's just full of plastic. I like, literally think that this is dirt and look at this. Last month, I was on a working holiday in Bali and used some of my time there to further educate myself on the war on waste. So, how bad is the plastic problem really? Well, the government declared Bali a state of emergency in December 2017 with its plastic pollution crisis. Every year, Bali produces 300 million kilograms of plastic garbage, with over half of it being burned or dumped. This is not just Indonesia's cross to bear though. It's a global problem and everyone's concerned when plastic is entering our environment and oceans. We try to stop the plastic with the chains with the, like a green bag, but it, there is cost more than a plastic, you know. So people think why we need to buy the expensive one. With, because like a local people had a business with a low budget, not a big budget. We're really lucky in Australia because waste management is so seamlessly built into our taxes. It's not something that we have to consider on a daily basis. In Indonesia, they actually have to decide whether they want to pay an additional fee to have their waste managed. Given the financial situation of so many of them, that's why they are choosing to go down the route of burning or dumping because they simply can't afford the necessities. So why would they go to that extra length to pay to keep barley clean? In the next few episodes, we'll focus on what locals like Made have to say on the topic and how they think a real difference can be made above and beyond continual cleanup efforts. Go in blind and hopefully they will want to talk to us.